All right. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to Nonprofit Enthusiast Live. I'm your host, Lashina Williams, and I am so excited to continue the conversation on processes and systems. In case you missed it, processes and systems has been our theme for the entire month, and we've been unlocking different tools and systems that you can use within your nonprofit to scale it to the next level. Uh, and today we have a special guest joining us to continue the conversation on um, processes and systems. But before I talk about that, I definitely want to remind you all that we do have a blog with um, free and low cost resources for nonprofit organizations. And please, please, please check it out. I've seen some of you talking about um, not knowing like Google and Microsoft had uh, licenses at no cost to organizations and, and taking advantage of that. So we're going to keep repeating this the entire month in hopes of you all being able to take advantage of those resources that's available. So today we have Shamika Allen Lane, the founder and coach and consultant of Catalyst Event Coaching. Catalyst Event Coaching offers coaching, training, and event management services to nonprofits and small business, providing them with support and information that literally impacts the way they operate um, their organization. Shamika holds two professional certificates as a certified meeting professional and digital event strategist, and also holds a master in masters. I'm sorry, in hospitality management from the University of Central Florida. Go Knights! Um, she also attained dual bachelor's degree in business management and chemistry. That's my favorite part when she talks about the chemistry with the with the mathematics minor from Albany State University, and Shamika resides here in Central Florida where she enjoys time with her family. And Shamika is no stranger to nonprofit enthusiasts, and we are so glad to have her on today to talk about this month's theme. Hi, Shamika. Hi, how are you? Good. It's so good to have you on as usual. Thank you. Thank you. Excited to be here as usual. When you were um, saying that I'm not a stranger, right before you said that, I was like, I'm a friend. Of <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> You're a friend of nonprofit thesis. That's right. <laughs> Love yes. it. I'm so glad to have you. Uh -uh. Go ahead. Go ahead. I must say, so glad to have you on once again, especially, um, I guess I could. I want to use the term the chaos organizer um, that you are as <laughs> getting everything organized. So uh, a, a month like processes and systems, I mean, what better person to have? Come on and talk about this. <laughs> well, that's funny. I haven't heard that one exactly. <laughs> but love it. Love it. And I, I like this topic so much because it's something that I like to immerse myself in, even with my business. And it, it actually is funny too, because people have started looking me, looking at me as this big technology person, you know, and I'm like, I don't understand why you're seeing me that way. <laughs> and I'm finally starting to embrace it. And I think a lot of my hesitation around embracing it is because of my background. I come from a STEM field and mm -hmm. everybody that I know, you know, is like an expert in their space, you know? So like, if you know someone that is in technology or dealing with databases or electrical engineer, you know, they're like masters. And so in my mind, I'm like, I, I don't hold a Kindle to this. <laughs> but in my space, I do. I do because I still bring what I learn from all of that um, into what I do now. And so it's, it's making more sense. And I'm getting my mind wrapped around people referring to me as such. Love it. And I love that you are embracing it because sometimes we take... Um sometimes we think that oh because I know this tool this is just what we do this is just everyone uses the system um and we and it becomes a secret at that point so thank you for stepping into that and I can't wait for you to unlock some of those tools that we can yes. use to grow our nonprofit yes, organization. absolutely yeah so look are we ready to dig into it let's dive in yes all right all right 
So one of uh, my favorite tools that I like to use, um, you actually said something that some people think is competitor. They're not really competitors, but um, it's the first thing I thought about. And then I saw what you um, did in the live the other week. And I was mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. hmm, I wonder what people are going to say, but it's Notion. It's called Notion. Mm -hmm. um, the other week you mentioned um, Evernote. Um, and so some people um, look at it as competitors. They're not true competitors, depending on the usage that you have. You know, one mm -hmm. makes it a better fit than the other. Um, but for Notion, it's considered like an all-in-one tool. And for me, I really love that. And I love it for nonprofits because, one, there is a free um uh, account that you can have. Obviously, every tool that we call out is going to have a paid version. So there's mm -hmm. that. Sometimes you can get the paid version for free as or as a discount. And I'll try to go over that for each one of the tools I mentioned here today. Um, but Notion does have a free account. And the awesome thing about the free account is you can do a lot with the free account. I haven't seen what I can't do as of yet with the free account. Mm. I'm still on a free account. Mm -hmm. Um, I can share, I can write down not just notes, but I'm a big checklist person. So mm -hmm. that's more of my thing than anything. I like to have a checklist and actually be able to see the check marks like it is done. <laughs> <laughs> like crossed out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I share it out with people. I use it for wish lists. I use it for all sorts of things that I can share with people and they have access to it. Even if they don't have an account, they can just mm -hmm. see a web version of it. Um, and many people may have come across it and not realize that a lot of... Um, applications and websites, information portals are now using it to hold information where you can actually click on it and it gives you more information about a person or a thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can put all sorts of things in there with graphics and whatever else. It has um, a template for CRM. So for those that are like, we're not ready for a big CRM and something mm, major mm -hmm. that's going to cost a good bit of money, it is definitely something that you can use for that type of tool. So it's a lot that's in that tool. You just have to decide where you are in life with it. Um, but I most certainly keep track with things like goals and all sorts of things like that inside of Notion because... There is a um, version that is desktop, but you also can utilize the app as well. And that's why I love it because I'm out and about thinking of something that hits me in that moment and I can go ahead and notate it and have it with everything else and not be like, oh, man, I got to get back to it, you know, and it's going to look mm -hmm. the same way. Obviously, the desktop is going to have a little bit more functionality with what it can do, but mm -hmm. um, it's very helpful to have it at my fingertips with the app as well. That's awesome. And then, so I know there's um, Evernote and then there's Notion. So, which, which it sounds like they have similar functionalities. What would you say to, or, and I want to kind of get your feedback for organizations mm -hmm. um, on, um, on having an electronic note-taking system. I know for me personally, um, I just found that, you know, I was doing a lot of writing and things, but once you leave that notebook, it's gone. It's like a, whatever those thoughts were, <laughs> they're, they're gone. <laughs> so now having electronic, like, note-taking system, even if I handwrite it, I take a picture yeah. of it and put it in that system. So no yeah. matter where I am, I have access to. Yeah. So I want to hear your feedback on if you experience some of those similar things um, and, and does Notion help remove some of that for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. I definitely think that, um, you know, there's a lot that you could do with Evernote that also works for Notion. But again, it depends on the usage that you're wanting mm -hmm. to use these things mm -hmm. for, right? If it's primarily note taking, Evernote probably is the better option. Um, with Notion, for me, I plan, right? Honey, I planned my son's entire birthday party on Notion. <laughs> <laughs> Love you it. know, but like you were saying, with being able to take pictures, being able to grab um, uh, website links, you know, mm -hmm. my shopping list, being able to um, put everything for the guest list, you know, so all of this. And so there are pages. Mm -hmm. 
So I can have okay. that one big, you know, notebook for yeah. the party. But then there are pages I had everything listed under, you know, it was a carnival theme party. So like there were prizes and I had like another, you know, page just yep. for that. And so it was so many different ways and it depend on what part of the party I was planning, how I structured that page. So some mm -hmm. of them had like the toggle option that, you know, I didn't need to see all the extra details for some <laughs> items, you know, until I got to those. And then other places, I definitely needed to have the pictures. I needed everything here to be like, okay, we're doing games. What does this game look mm -hmm. like? Because some of the games we had to create, some of them we just couldn't buy. So there were some options where it's like, this is what the game looks like put together. This is where we can purchase it. Mm -hmm. this is direct link. So, you know, it was so many ways to do that. And when I was talking through it and people were like, well, we need to help you. We want to help you with the party. How will we best do that? I was able to share pages specific to what they would help. Ooh, rather than nice. The whole mm -hmm. thing. I could mm -hmm. do that as well. But so I had options of how I went about sharing that with others. And again, still, they didn't have to download Notion or anything mm -hmm. like that. They just had access to the information when needed. Love it. And then what would you say, Um, because it sounds like you're doing some planning and project managing within Notion. So um, what would you, do you recommend using another tool or do you think Notion has it all? Like you don't really need another tool. So, you know, like I said, I'm embracing this whole technology thing. I would say <laughs> this, when it comes to technology, um, like anything else, you need to look at it holistically of what you need to do, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I am a fan of project management tools. I wouldn't mm -hmm. necessarily tell someone to just do everything in Notion and not use another tool unless that's what makes the most sense for your organization, right? Because mm -hmm. I like to be able to have things streamlined. I do recommend that as much as possible. The more... Um, platforms and applications you're mm -hmm. using, the more that things can just kind of like get through the mm -hmm. cracks. <laughs> I know about but that. <laughs> Notion is a really good starting point. It's a really good starting point for a lot of people, especially if you're just trying to figure out like, I don't want to be in a lot of different systems. I want to just have like one main system to use and you're not using something already. I think Notion is a really great starting point. Um, I don't think most people leave Notion from the aspect of just totally leaving everything. But mm -hmm. like as your organization grows, I think you would probably find that there are some other tools that might have other um, integrations because I'm big on integrations and automation mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that um, are going to naturally work together. Notion won't necessarily have all of the, it has integrations, but it depends on whatever else you're using. So it depends mm -hmm. on that flow because you want it to work for you. <laughs> right, right. But you can do a lot of that inside of Notion. I will say that you can do a lot of that inside of Notion. Um, it's just that I'm not going to say, like you mentioned, Asana. I'm a Asana girl <laughs> the other week. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to say don't do Asana or I'll talk about Airtable a little bit later today. Don't mm -hmm. do Airtable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but it is definitely a good starter tool is what I would say. Right. Yeah. And I recommend like with tool, there are so many amazing tools out there. And and sometimes with tools, it's like I'll find that one has this amazing seller point that the other one doesn't. And you really have to kind of go down to what do you really need it to do mm -hmm. as part of that decision making process and kind of stick to it as well. Because I've been there where there's been so many um different tools and because of that one thing we're using the other tool and it just gets chaotic yeah. um so it's i really recommend kind of going down to the basic of this is our um if, if we're using notion and it might you might say if, if it's a team collaboration use of notion you might say these are the only things we're using for because we're using the other for anything else Absolutely. and you know it and, and and so forth and, and, and you'll be exactly what i mean by that with notion mm -hmm. like i don't think you would give it up completely but there may be yeah. boxes that you're like we're going to move that to a different platform but right we'll keep notion for this yeah yep yep 
And the um, other thing that you'll be excited to know that TechSoup does offer a discount to nonprofit organizations for Notion. So definitely check that out. I won't quote what the discount is in case they change it on our website, but we'll drop the link in the chat. So that way um, you I, can look, definitely I check that out. And it's at 50%. So that's is that what it I'll leave it at that. I won't say what the price okay, okay. is, but it says 50%. Okay, <laughs> okay got you. <laughs> All right, you got it, you got it, yeah. And in case you're watching this later, don't go, don't go to um tech soup telling them we said fifty percent, and then. <laughs> but we'll definitely drop that link so that you have it um, if you are considering that for your organization or maybe even for your individual use. Because like for me, with Evernote, it's just, I'm it's I didn't like roll it out as an organizational wide mm -hmm. um usage. It's just really just for me and keeping me in order, but I still link my notes into Asana for the overall, you know, Absolutely. collaboration and, and yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, keep it coming. Awesome. What else you got? <laughs> so one of my favorite tools that I've been using a little shy of a year um, is Otter, Otter AI. I know mm -hmm. that AI has been a thing <laughs> right now. <laughs> Um, but Otter AI changed the way I do everything. Um, so mm -hmm. if you are someone or an organization that has a lot of meetings, this is one of your best friends. Um, there is a free plan to Otter as well. Mm -hmm. Most of these I'm talking about today pretty much have free plans, um, but Otter has a free plan to it. Um, most people I know utilize the free plan. I'm one of the few that utilize the paid plan. Um, but I got sold so good when I first came into the outer land that I was like, I'm mm -hmm. just jumping in here. First. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what sold me. And I'll tell you okay. what I've seen as benefits since then. What sold me is that I was on a meeting and this individual came in with their otter. They were there and we were like, who is this otter that has the same name as you? Like, what is this? And they were like, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I like to take notes with otter. Um, it's like my meeting assistant. And what I love about it is that um, people can follow along with me as it transcribes the information. And it had like the link in the chat that we could follow. So I did. I followed. And I was like, oh, it's pretty good. Um, so for those that use Zoom a lot to record your call, mm -hmm. and you don't necessarily have a whole bunch of visual things. Like this is a really good way to not use up all of your Zoom um, storage. Um, mm. And so the person left the meeting early, right? I <laughs> was still there taking notes. And I was like, okay, you fancy. Let me go check Otter <laughs> out. Go check Otter out. Let me get the free plan. Did the free plan. Otter was sending two Otter assistants at the same time. Like, so what? I was meeting in one place and can't make it somewhere else. Otto was sending, you know, the um, assistant, um, even though I wasn't there. And I was like, oh, there's something to this. And then you can actually have it set up to where when it's in a meeting and most of the meetings that I know that is compatible with it's Zoom, Teams, uh, Google Meet, m most of the platforms mm -hmm. that are really mm -hmm. popular that people use to meet. Um, and so it would... Um, Send that link to let people see it and it will make notes while you're in the meeting. But what it will also do is after the meeting, it would send a message that says that this is available for your viewing. Right now, mm. you can turn those settings off because I work in so many environments that I don't always want to publicly give the information to everybody who's not there and that type of thing. Um, me to an event, sometimes I'm recording my client's event just for my purposes or, mm -hmm. you know, just to help out my client. But if you're not present, they don't want you to have that information. So there's ways to turn that information off. Um, it does screenshots as well as you're going through your meeting. So for those that are like, they had it up there so quick, I couldn't get all the information mm -hmm. that comes up. So it, it is just so much. Um, I think the free version allows for recording up to 50 minutes. Um, mm. But the paid version, I want to say it's about four hours worth. 
Um, and so, yes, you can um, send it ahead of you. And what I mean, send it ahead of you is you can attach it to your calendar. If there is a link in your calendar that lets it know that it's Zoom or whatever else, it's going to automatically go there. You don't have to physically send it. Should you get into a meeting and realize that, you know what, this was a pop up meeting. It wasn't on my calendar. You can just send the link to Otter and it'll enter into the room. And you can also record from your device. So that's the other thing. Sometimes I'll mm-hmm. use it where I'm in an in-person meeting and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm a note taker. And I like taking notes, but when you're a note taker, you're also kind of laser focused on what you think is important. Mm -hmm. And you realize later that something else was also important. So Mm -hmm. this way you can kind of go back and revisit that information. And so it is one of my favorite tools. I saw so many people on it. People are like, do you have an affiliate link? I'm like, I might need need to get one. But yes, I love and adore Wow, so much. It lets you know... um, who's speaking so it Mm -hmm. um, realizes when I'm speaking versus someone else it starts to pick up on their voice and who they are Mm -hmm. Um, it lets you know um, summaries it it, um, gives you like an outline on the side after Mm -hmm. the recording all the different things and you could kind of use it to kind of jump to certain parts of the conversation you could do searches in the conversation so so many good things, but it is my favorite recording tool right wow. now. And I use it for so much. Sometimes people miss meetings and they know I have Otter and they're like, hey, can you send me Otter? Like, so it's a thing. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Now you're selling me on it. Now I want to <laughs> check it out. If you haven't tried it, try the free version. Like I said, most people, free version is all they need. Uh, right. But... Otter does have um, a nonprofit program that gives a percent off too. I think it's 40% off. So just check it out. Um, any of these yes. um, tools that we're talking about, you can just say that name of the tool for nonprofits and usually mm-hmm. to where um, they are, because they don't always put it on their main website um, if they have that discount yep. for you. Because everybody- And they also right. have it on tech, TechSoup as well. Yes. Always check TechSoup first. Yes. Always check mm-hmm. TechSoup. First, a lot of them directly related to TechSoup. That's how you get through their program. Um, yep. Others will sometimes send you to it, and sometimes they have their own application. So sometimes mm-hmm. do a bit of both. Love it. Yep, and we'll drop that link as well to access the um, okay. the discount and uh, for Otter. I love it. This is awesome. Yeah, you now I'm gonna have to check out Otter <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Um, yes. And I love that you said that it takes notes for you while you, you know you're in. The, and I am a note taker. Um, and sometimes you get so ingrained in note taking that you kind of lose that like yeah. strategic focus within exactly. the class. Exactly. <laughs> when you're a note taker, you know, you know, you, there's been a moment where you're like, uh oh. <laughs> So yeah, I definitely love it. And and it captures um, action items and things like that as well. So there is a lot to that tool. Um, So I do adore it and I don't see me getting away from it at all. So I'll be Mm -hmm. hanging around with it. And in my case, um, because I have the paid version, it also um, holds the storage of it for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, you can always download it. But as of right now, I have all of my calls for this year. Wow. And I'd be on calls all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) They're all stored there. They're all organized and everything. So, yes. And anyone else that uses Otter, that shares Otter with me, I can also see from my same account without leaving my account all of their shared um, recordings as well. Does it integrate with, like, the note-taking system? So I think there is some integration with some of them. Girl, I haven't had to use that, though, because it do so good. Like, <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, just at least put it in the same spot. You know, like like yes. after you just put my notes in, in my notebook. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't used that aspect of it, and I'm pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure that I know that it does. I haven't Ooh, used that, that aspect awesome. of it. Because oftentimes the people that need to see it, they have this access to it that they're just like, I'm good, you know? So I right. just haven't right. done it in that way, but yes. 
Awesome. Great. Love it. Oh, yes. keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yes. Okay. Yes. So next tool. Okay. It's Doc Hub. So I know there's a lot of mm. signing tools that are out there and nothing against any of them. Um, I like Doc Hub because it has a free version. So get the theme here. Almost all of these <laughs> have free accounts, right? So yes. Doc Hub has a free version, very similar to DocuSign. I think a lot of people are familiar with DocuSign. Um, mm -hmm. Doc Hub, however, has the ability to do, I think, a little bit more, especially knowing that you have a free account. Um, so you can like edit PDFs, you can sign your documents, you can send um, something to be signed from someone else as a requester. Um, so there, there's a few different things. The free account allows for up to five signatures in a month. So that's the kicker there. Um, okay. So once you hit that five, that's when you have to wonder if I'm going to, you know, get the paid version or just print out, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. for the next month or whatever. <laughs> um, but a lot of people don't usually need more than that. When you start needing more, mm -hmm. more than that, you might need to get an application specific for um, what your needs are. Um, but Doc Hub has a lot of really great tools. Um, it's one that if you just dig into it, you'll start saying like, oh man, we can use this, we can use that. Um, yeah. But it's definitely really great for signing. Um, it looks just like my signature. It's not one of those... Um, you know how they have it when people have, ask you to sign and then they'll have like the cursive font? That yep, they yep. and they know it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> so like, hey. It's actually my signature. People have no idea that it's not mine. So sometimes, oh good, wet signature. Um, I be I be trying to be good, but you know, if I feel yeah. like I ask, like, is it legit a wet signature? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm able to use that. I think when I first signed up, now I've been using it for years. By the way, when I first signed up for it, I think they um sent like a way that you can put in your signature and so in my case I think I took the option for them to send a link on my phone and mm -hmm. I signed my name on my phone and they captured my signature from that point forward so they have both my initials and my signature in my handwriting um so I love it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. Oh my god! And I do tough. use it to fill out uh -huh. a lot of PDF forms if they're if it's not PDF writable, um, because mm -hmm. you can put your text box in wherever you would like it. Love it. Yeah, this is good. I'm looking at if they have a um a uh, nonprofit discount. While, while yes, fifty percent <laughs> off <laughs> oh, of, of, of Doc Hub. Yes. Yes, 50% off. Okay. They do have, if you're looking for to get in a paid version of Doc Hub, they do have yeah. a percent off discount for nonprofits as well. So like I say, always still go and put in yes. the name of that platform for nonprofits. It'll take you right to the site that explains how they do their process. So some of them yes. are very different, um, but I do know that they currently are offering this is look July 2023 now. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Are currently I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this later, look, go come. Yeah. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is I will drop, we'll share that link for Doc Hub. Um, the way that their website, just so everyone knows when you get ready to access it, you just have to scroll down on the page. Um, I'm like, where is it? And you'll see where it says, do you have a discount for schools or nonprofits? And then from there, it gives you their email address and how you can access that. So just um, know that when you are looking at this tool. So we'll definitely drop the, the link to that page. Awesome. Right now. And Ooh, so a couple of more that I have. Look, let me try to speed it up. I don't want to keep people here all day. <laughs> um, Airtable. We mentioned earlier. Ooh, I love Airtable. And I know Lashina loves Airtable. And mm -hmm. she might be responsible as to why I love Airtable. <laughs> 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 but I, I have been it. using Airtable for a little while as well. Um, and I love it. It is something that I have really um, integrated inside of my business uh, for my clients. And so... Airtable is really hard to describe sometimes. <laughs> um, 
people many times try to compare it to doing a spreadsheet. Um, mm -hmm. It does have functionality similar to a spreadsheet, but it operates more like a database. Um, and so it is able to have a whole lot more data in it. It is able to um, do a lot of different forms of displaying what that data looks like. Um, you can manipulate the data a great deal. Um, what else to say about it? You can also use it as a project management tool. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just sneezing. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, it's so much goodness. Um, I love it because, look, I'm, I'm going to say the words of somebody from your team. Um, we were on a call and uh -huh. we were going over the, they call it base. We were going over the base mm -hmm. and the person from Lashina's team said, <laughs> we got a separate file for each one of these tabs. Like, we don't have to have five different documents related mm -mm. to the same program we can put it all in this one base um and so that's one of the beautiful things about yep. it and at any point that you find that you know what we need to share something with someone that's not on our team but we don't want to pay for them to have access or it's going to put us in danger of having to pay for a plan there are one view only versions of it that you can give someone access to specific um tabs of your particular base. And um, something else is you can upload information. So if you do have um, a spreadsheet mm -hmm. of sorts that you're pulling from somewhere else, you can upload that information and get it mapped out. And it's gonna go ahead and put everything there. You can also download the information. Um, so I love that you can extract it. Um, in my lane of events, Sometimes I put all sorts of things. And, and one of my favorite things that it does is you can um, link like tabs from mm -hmm. different yep. records. Um, so if you, if you think about the event space, say you have a speaker that's handling a particular workshop, something happens, the speaker can no longer make it. And you're trying to figure out everywhere you have this person. You know, maybe they're a host, mm -hmm. so they're in multiple places. Like, I'm trying to remember everywhere I have it so I can update it. Well, if you link the record and then you change that record or you delete that record, it's going to update everywhere it's located. So you don't have to try to remember all of those parts. So I love that about the system. Um, but you can also do different views. Lashina loves to use that. Yeah, part. I love that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I love it all. Interested. Since you're doing different views, you can share and extract the data using those different views. So for me, from an event perspective, um, think of like your agenda slash run of show. I like to put all of that together on one tab, but I have a view that's actually for the agenda to be published. And that's what we'll use um, to send out. But then I have another view that, you know, if somebody is just there for that day, they can see only that day. Um, and then I like to extract that information and I might give that to my venue or I give that to some of my vendors where there are certain views that works better for them. Anything that's not relevant to what they need to do. I don't have to have that on there. So I love it because I'm not creating different documents. Mm -hmm. It's all still the same data that I have. I just created a different viewpoint that works for them and what they need. So it is absolutely one of my favorite tools. You can um, do like a budget tab in there. Um, that's one of the few places where it may work similar to a spreadsheet in terms of formulas, but it's not a formula heavy um, uh, platform. Um, mm -hmm. It does so many other things. There's a lot of extensions. There's a lot of um, integrations um, that can be done. Now, granted, the free version of it is going to have a little bit more limitations than, say, a paid version in terms of your integrations. But if you're using something like Eventbrite, for instance, there is an integration with Eventbrite if you're trying to bring over your attendees and bring over your sponsors and things like that. So there's a lot that you can do. With mm -hmm. Eric's people, but it is absolutely one of my favorite things, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to have Airtable in your back pocket for your organization. I'm just saying. <laughs> it, and um, 
even because we used it within the not within our nonprofit in so many different ways before we moved into let's say um specific platforms we mm-hmm. used to manage volunteers in there um we now we went into a volunteer database but a lot of this stuff we started in Airtable and their free version you can get very far on their yeah. free version but luckily I just looked it up and they do have a discount for nonprofit mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we'll make sure that we drop that link in there but um volunteer applications was in there managing donors um, and, and donor management was in there grant management was all of that those different functions of the organization social media planning marketing yeah. planning strategic planning all they of that have a lot of templates <laughs> they have a lot yes. of templates as well so yep. depending on what you're trying to do you might be able to find their template or tweak a template to work yep. for what you might need um so yeah it is is a life it is. You need this <laughs> in your back pocket. Like a, a lot of the tools were like, you know, kind of weigh it out and kind of see, you know, um, how it fits into your pit. This right here, you need it in your back pocket yeah. for your organization. At some point, you're going to need the, the functions of um, Airtable. So yes. um, definitely. And I love how clean it is. That's part yeah. of it, too, because mm. sometimes you'll use like Excel or you'll d- use different platforms where you have all that or a word to create something and it's all over the place. But it's so clean. All the same font, all the, you know, everything is just very clean about it. That when you download it, it's, it's presentable. You don't have to do much in order to be able to send it um, where you got it to go. Yes, so, yeah, I love it. That's and a good one. I would, say, I would say one more thing for me with that, that made me like seal the deal. Where I was like, I'm using it for all my clients. So <laughs> what seal the deal for me is sometimes y'all be uh, trying to get some off the ground and it'd be all over the place. <laughs> Okay, like <laughs> it's all over the place. You don't even know the dots ain't connecting yet. And so mm-hmm. a lot of times what we do is we have the information, but we're like, I'm just holding it because I don't know what to do with it. Like yeah. I don't yeah. I don't have anywhere to put it. I have found that in using Airtable for me, it connects the dots better and sooner. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like I'm in a complete holding pattern. I just put it there with what I have. And then mm-hmm. as we start getting more, I just like put in the pieces to the puzzle and I'm like, okay, there it is. It's all coming together. It's done. Send this to that person. But that's what did it for me where I was kind of like, Ooh, y'all, mm, I don't, just saying, <laughs> <laughs> this ain't working. Like, can you give yep, me some more yep. information? And even mm-hmm. little things like, you know, I've built um, platforms for uh, virtual events as well. And I'm able to look in, um, has all of this been uploaded, right? Like there's different mm-hmm. ways because you have the customization of what your options are for each area. Mm-hmm. So it's a gem, but okay. I last one. It. Yes. <laughs> I feel like an air, t- a, a air table one-on-one coming on. Uh, Listen, one of our here for it. I'll be glad to step in with you. Yes. Girl. Like, I can support Let's you. do it. Yes. <laughs> so my last one is Jot Form. So mm-hmm. that form is, I hate to call it just a survey slash form tool because it is so much more now. Um, but um, I love it. I know that a lot of people are partial to like um, Google Forms because it's free. Um, there are some other things out on the market that might not be as free. Um, Jot Forms has a free version as well. So let's get that out there. They have mm-hmm. a free version. It depends on how many forms you really have. If you have a need for the paid version, um, the free version, I, I want to say it has like five active forms. So like mm-hmm. if, if you're not using something and you're okay with like switching it up or whatever, then you can change it. Um, but there's like five, I think, active forms for it. Um, It is a uh, build and drag type platform. So it's very user friendly, easy to use. So think like if you're doing a Google form, you don't have as much customization. It doesn't look as nice. It's very rigid, but it gets the job done, right? 
Jai form is not as rigid. It is very customizable. Um, and so, of course, if you have the paid version, you can do even more things. But it also has a lot of integrations, like for things like PayPal or something like that. If you want to have people pay or donate, sponsors, whatever the case is, you can most certainly use those type of integrations with it. You can, um, of course, extract it just like you do with a Google form and have it go into a Google sheet and have all of your responses this one in one area for others to view if they don't have access to your um, job form account. So I love it. It does now um, for the paid versions have access for things like signing of documents in there. Um, it has conditional logic. You know, it, it has a lot of really good things. Um, I'm a person that have used, you know, Google Forms. I also have SurveyMonkey and all the other mm -hmm. things. But right now on the cutting edge of technology and just keeping up with what's going on, JotForm definitely has what you need. Love it. And they also have nonprofit pricing as well. So we I would drop you. those I links told you all in these. there. <laughs> all of them. Yes. And we're going to drop the link for all... Each, all of them have it. Yeah, we're yes. going to drop the link for each and every one of them so that you all have it as you're deciding on what platforms you're going to use. And throughout the month, I know we shared a lot of different platforms. And we're not saying go out there and sign up for all of them. <laughs> we're saying kind of if, we just want to give you a menu of options and you can find what fits best for your organization and your organization needs. Because I've been there. I feel like I'm there every couple of months where it's like, oh, if there was just a tool that could do this. And we're just trying to give you those options of what some of those tools yeah. um, can be. Love it. Thank mm. you, Shamika. Absolutely. It's always a good time. And you, man, these are some really good tools. We're going to make sure that we drop those links so you all can check them out. Tell tell everyone how they can um, reach out to you, uh, what, you know, um, you know, the services that you offer, if you can just... Let us know and we'll drop your information also in the chat okay. box as well. Absolutely. So my company is Catalyst Event Coaching and on social media, both LinkedIn and Facebook, you can find us at Catalyst Event Coaching. Um, there is also a Facebook group we have called, excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> event planning with a purpose um and that's a good place to get like additional content as well as have access to ask questions of anything you might have going on with your organization or as it relates to events um and event management um i will say um check us out on eventbrite and just check out our page because we'll have a facebook um event going live here with very shortly. So, um, but there is a free event that we are looking to do on August 17th. You know, if you all know what that day is in that nonprofit space, but there is a yeah. free event that we're looking to do. Um, that's a virtual workshop. Um, so just try to um, register for that, sign up for that so that you can get that great information that we're going to be giving out on that day. And that's just a gift to our nonprofit community. Oh, love it. Y'all, I just love like companies like yours that just believe in nonprofits, nonprofit work. Um, that means uh, a lot. Um, even when I'm shopping on a day-to-day -day basis, I like to shop at companies and stores and, and places that give back to the community and believe in giving in, you know, to the community. So you're doing that um, on, um, that's Day of Charity. Yes. Yeah, I was like, oh, I, it's a few different ones coming. Day of Charity <laughs> um, means a lot. So you all make sure that you check that out. We'll drop the information that um, Shamika just shared in the chat box as well. So Awesome. Thank you once again, Shamika, for joining us. Uh, so before we wrap up today, as you all know, um, well, homework is for processes and systems this month. Check out these different systems and see what can help you meet the needs of your organization. Again, we're not saying to sign up for all, you know, you might have to sign up to test them out, but you you don't need to use all of them within your organization, but see what fits best for your organization. And the awesome thing about it is there's free 
um, or or discounts available to nonprofits for using different tools. So even part of the challenge of homework is if you have existing tools right now, go look, take a look, because you might save uh, your organization a lot of money. Um, see if they offer discounts for nonprofit organizations. And most of the time they will allow you to sign up now and switch your rate over for future mm -hmm. um, payments. So that I think would be a really good homework. Check those um, tools out and see if they offer discounts for your organization. Um, and then once again, we'll drop the blog that we had in the chat box so that you all can see additional free and low cost resources available to your organization. And so we are still um, doing our giveaway. Let me go ahead and pull that up. Um, so we have an amazing giveaway for the month of July that combines style and the opportunity to make a difference. Uh, you will be winning an Ask Me How We Can Change Our Community shirt for our nonprofit enthusiast store designed to spark conversation and inspire positive change along with a $25 gift card. And to enter is simple. All you have to do is just invite 10 friends to the group and we've seen um, you all inviting and we're tracking and then we're, you're, you'll be entered to win um, this prize. So please make sure that you do that. And the last day to do it is on July 26th and we'll be announcing the winner next week on July 27th uh, episode. All right, y'all. So, oops, there we go. So <laughs> thank you so much uh, for doing that. And if I was you, I'll take a moment now, go up to the invite button and invite others into the group. So that's off your list. And guess what? We hit a thousand. Yay. And we had our GIF party going on with our different dance moves um, happening to celebrate this moment. And this is just an amazing moment, moment because of course we're much better together than we are alone. And we're able to share resources and information like this to help support growing our um, organization. So definitely um, let's keep that going. And Shamika, I'd like to thank you once again for joining us before we close out. We definitely have to get you back on um, another show. So I'll get you scheduled <laughs> right after this. <laughs> um, so other than that, thank you, everyone. And we will see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.